It is here in this modest three-bedroom, two-bathroom, ranch-style home that our story begins. The Foss family would gather to eat at this table. Sons Matthew and Jerome led a normal life raised with traditional values such as proper hat etiquette. Their father was Gregory Thomas Foss. He was known for his winking abilities. Chef Dana Ann Foss was always in the kitchen preparing new and exciting meals. Pasta sauce. This is boring. Jerome, like other boys age seven, enjoyed various activities such as waving. Sharing classified information through frenetic dancing. This trait would be carried on by his sons later in life. Matthew was a young man of simple pleasures. He enjoyed celebrating his birth. Stop! Stop! Let him blow up! Contemplating life while in a bathtub. Right. Running from danger. It's the attacker! It's the attacker! Hi, Daddy! But above all, Matthew was a young man of grace and decorum. The four generations of Fosses are spread across the country, but we are a family of love. We are huggers. And we are shakers. <laughs> Alan Martha Foss raised Mike, Valerie, and Gregory, who in turn raised Matthew, Michelle, Jeff, Riley, and Jerome. We were taught how to fish, how to survive in the wilderness, and how to cover the point spread when gambling on football. We were taught how to well, properly be drugged by a boat. Okay. The Foss family was always there for all of Matthew and Jerome's biggest moments. We well, just thought Jerome had graduated out of college, you know, when it was very much of the enthusiasm. Poppy Foss taught us the art of the post game interview. Hey, Matt. 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 Come here. You played pretty good? I feel like you did. Are you pretty tired? When, my shoe, when I kicked the ball and my shoe came off, the kid stepped on my foot. Okay. Cousins Jeffrey and Michelle were always clowning around. Michelle never shied away from the camera. Unless she wanted to. Michelle. Christmas was an especially important time of year for all of us. The family getting together, Grandma cooking in the kitchen, Uncle Mike and Aunt Lynn telling a story about a gun. So Mom wanted to see everybody picking out so she can watch it later. We were always appreciative of all the gifts we received. Right. Right. Whoopsies. What? We already had this. And there were a lot of gifts. You're welcome. You like it? The Foss family. Family of love. Sports were essential to the competitive Foss brothers. They started out on the pitch playing soccer, but young Jerome found struggles with the sport. Nice header! So we got your foot into the ball. Yeah. But I think I kicked my. I think my shoe went further than I kicked the ball. Yeah. Well, How do you feel your soccer season went. While Jerome struggled, oh, the you, young Matthew you really enjoy took it? to the game. Yeah. Did you have a lot of fun? Yeah. Good. What was the most fun about it? 
negotiating your contract. That one game, you got three goals. Is that correct? Yes. That that is an amazing. As natural as the game um, came to Matthew, he was also great at pointing out the obvious. Are you working towards breaking that record in your next games? Um. Yeah. 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 And I'm trying to beat the other team. Yeah. That's. Soon Jerome traded in his soccer cleats for football cleats and took to the gridiron. I think your football game is bad. <laughs> and why is that? We lost. And what was the score? 18 zip. It seems football wasn't his sport, but soon he discovered basketball. And it was with this shot right here that sports analysts say was the turning point in Jerome's life. How do you think you played? I think that's a good. Excellent. Thank you, Jerome. For Jerome Foss, leading the Falcons with 31 points tonight. How does it feel to be related to me? Way you win a game. I'll play the defense. Pass it. On the break, Jerome Foss goes in uncontested for the layup. More from Skyview. <laughs> How do you do your skills? Practice. Jerome Foss sets up, knocks down the three, and Foss with 14 free players and double figures for the Those are three things you do to get good. In the game, you want to play defense. Number 54, Jerome Foss. Inbounds. Even with Jerome's surefire success, his father was known to be nervous during all games. Matthew took game. basketball as well and played to sell out crowds. But basketball wasn't Matthew's only sport. He also tried volleyball, where he was a state champion, bench warmer as well as tennis, where he was compared to a young Andy Roddick. Very young Andy Roddick. But it wasn't just sports. Soon the Foss brothers found themselves in the spotlight and were introduced to the world on the Blinky the Clown show. Matthew, five, how about that? And Joshua, are you ready three now? Joshua! Joshua would go on to own his own nail salon and day spa. The brothers took their fame to the road. Matthew grew a beard and began stand-up. And Jerome taught proper softball pitching technique to underprivileged youth. Matt soon found himself in the world of politics. And it wasn't long before he was named ambassador that, um, to Botswana. A lot of countries have a lot of different views and a lot of them are different than, than um, what you'd hope for. You received a certificate for student of the year, is that correct? Yeah, Jerome did very well in the world really, of academia, um, and he merged this with his political career. It started out with simple Kennedy-esque recitations. Jerome was elected to many offices and won many awards. But it was during one particular scandal for voter fraud that Jerome proved himself a true politician. He then went on to win the election for president of his university. During one of these conversations, a young man observed, well, you are the vice president right now, he was French. You, you are the vice president right now, who could possibly know the job better than you? That's my best French accent, I'm sorry. <laughs>